So um, what I typically bring on video jobs, uh, other than obvious HDMI cords and a cord for my uh, memory device is uh, my Samsung uh, portable solid state drive, one terabyte. Plug it into the top of the uh, cage. And my camera that I use, my Blackmagic Pocket 4K with a tilted cage. And then I have the little battery plug that I would plug into my uh, power base edge. This baby uh, lasts, well, it has like a little um, LCD screen. It says it lasts about three hours and 30 minutes. I don't trust it for that long. And maybe that's because I, I work it to the max or whatnot. I feel like it's more of a hour and a half or two hours. I don't trust it for three hours. Allen wrenches. I'm now, I've, I've had this for a while. I got it from uh, when I used to work at Family and Fit. When I first got it, I didn't really like it very much. So now I'm getting back into using it. Now since I'm using more multiple sources of audio devices and projects, like I like, I like backup scenarios. So PowerSonic X Vario. Uh, zoom lens it goes to 14 to 42 which for me that would be 28 to 84 because it's a micro four thirds lens and then I have this uh, KNF concept uh, ND filter right in the density filter the variable 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 and uh, I know I like you know the change aperture and there's a motorized zoomed which I like the motorized zoomed I don't like the uh, the manual um, just because I don't know the main reason I like a zoom is due to do the hitchhawk effect and uh, with this I can just squeeze these down and do the vice versa uh, because it's motorized uh, focus and motorized uh, zoom so I can pretty much ju just by squeezing in and out right there uh, get a pretty uh, good hitchhock effect, you know, keeping the focus and the, uh, the zoom steady. So I like that. I really like that lens. Um, other than that lens, I have my Cine lens, which already has the, uh, what do you call it? The gears to uh, use with the follow focus system. It is a 12 millimeter lens, but you know, my four thirds lens times it by two makes it 24 millimeter. Um, this is the only cinema lens I have. It was the most expensive lens I've ever bought until uh, just this month, and I bought the anamorphic lens, which is still in back order, so I can't show you guys yet. But I assume that will be added into my collection once I get it. Um, but uh, I really like this lens because you can change the aperture and the uh, focus. I like being able to change both of them. Uh, those more professional than being able to change both of them like that. There we go. Um, I sort of have two follow focus systems, one that came with the Moza Air, and then this one, the uh, Nucleus N. Um, technically, I can't say exactly that this is in my bag. I've had it for a while though, and I've been wanting to start using it with my, uh, my grip system I'm setting up. I used it on a, one of my last projects and it, it didn't work out. And uh, I'm gonna really try to get get to using this this year but uh it's nice to get be able to give it to her and she can monitor the focus on her phone which i uh, just set this up and she puts her phone in there and um she can monitor the audio using my uh wireless diy system this would go into the headphones and then this would go into here which it isn't monitoring all the audio, but it monitors the separate audio system that I set up. Audio thing, and then it, I would plug up the uh, wireless audio system. So this uh, you, that you're listening to right now. If I didn't do the backup system, I would just plug up the wireless mic to that and just use that. I like that. Um, I just don't like solely relying on it. I don't know, I'm a very paranoid person <laughs> as far as like, I don't want to screw up. Um, this would go on the bottom of that to uh, put the wireless focus system on it. And then uh, we got the monitor for 
me to monitor. Oh fuck, I forgot something. Oh, but be right back. So this would help with the uh, wireless grip monitoring system. It's a wireless monitoring system. You would just plug it in and then it would, mo it would send the signal out to uh, multiple phones. But uh, it's my 3D printed uh, SD card case that I uh, got. Right now, the only SD card I use is this bigger one for uh, my audio system. And that's it. Um, as far as the bag I use, I, I literally just use the bag that came with my uh, Sport Osmo bundle way back. Uh, I tend to change bags a lot. Um, so far, this is what I'm liking right now. So, that was my 2020 bag, or I guess maybe 2021 bag. I don't really know how these work. This is, this is basically gonna be my bag for most of the year, but like I said, I'm gonna add a lens. Eventually I'll get a matte box. Uh, don't know how long this video was. Hopefully this was entertaining and maybe a little um, educational. Uh, thank you for watching. See you on the flip side.